Dear congregation, today we gather to explore the abundant blessings that God graciously bestows upon His children. As recipients of His love and mercy, we are called to recognize and receive the gifts He freely offers. Let us open our hearts and minds to the Word of God as we delve into the beauty of His divine provisions. James 1.17 Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. In James we are reminded that every good and perfect gift originates from God. His generosity knows no bounds, and His blessings flow abundantly from the Father of lights. As we acknowledge God's unwavering character and unchanging nature, we can trust in His faithfulness to provide for our needs. 1 Corinthians 12, 4, 7 Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are differences of administrations, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of operations, but it is the same God which worketh all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. In 1 Corinthians, we learn about the various spiritual gifts bestowed upon believers by the Holy Spirit. These gifts such as wisdom, knowledge, faith, healing, and prophecy are given for the edification of the body of Christ. As stewards of these gifts, we are called to use them to glorify God and build up His church. Matthew 7:11. If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask Him? Jesus assures us in Matthew that our Heavenly Father delights in giving good gifts to His children. Just as earthly parents provide for the needs of their children, so too does our Heavenly Father lavish us with His abundant blessings. We are encouraged to approach God with confidence, knowing that He will generously provide for us. Ephesians 2, 8, 9 For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works lest any man should boast. Above all other gifts, the gift of salvation through Jesus Christ is the greatest blessing we can receive. In Ephesians, we are reminded that salvation is not earned through our own efforts, but is freely given by God's grace through faith. It is a gift beyond measure, granted to us out of God's immense love and mercy. 1 Thessalonians 5.8 In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. As recipients of God's blessings, we are called to cultivate an attitude of gratitude in all circumstances. In 1 Thessalonians, we are exhorted to give thanks in everything, recognizing that gratitude is the proper response to God's goodness and provision. Through thanksgiving, we honor God and acknowledge His sovereignty over our lives. Luke 6.38 Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together and running over, shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that ye meet with all, it shall be measured to you again. In Luke, Jesus teaches us the principle of giving and receiving. As we freely receive God's gifts, we are called to share them generously with others. By blessing others with what we have received, we participate in God's kingdom work and experience the joy of giving. Dear brothers and sisters, may we embrace with humility and gratitude the abundant gifts that God graciously bestows upon us. Whether spiritual or material, each gift is a manifestation of God's love and provision in our lives. Let us receive His blessings with open hearts. Use them wisely for His glory and share them generously with others. As we do so, may we bear witness to the goodness and faithfulness of our Heavenly Father, who delights in blessing His children abundantly. Amen.